station and here yeah. you can see uh, sometimes we need to um, you know the components aren't readily available so we 3d print some of the components that will for example, right. systems such as this one, which is a, a UPS, um, which is actually keeping our small business going during load shedding. Oh, so done by yourself? Um, no, this oh, one isn't oh. done by ourselves. We needed something high power yeah. to keep to keep yeah. our stuff going. Um, yeah, and this, yeah. So as I was saying earlier on, that you know, trying to you know, check fires and all these things. So what I'm developing here is actually a portable heater and fan. So this, as we know, we just come in during the winter months, that's when we sell our shack fires and there's a normal cause of paraffin heatings, um, charcoal and all those things. So we're providing some sustainable and some safe home. We're not only pre preserving lives, but also um, safeguarding the environment for future generations. So traffic and issues from inside out. So this device is made faster as well as possible as well. So this is gonna be a fan. A fan and the, and the heater all the same way. Yeah. And it can run off of solar as well. Yeah. It can run off of solar as well. So many people don't have electricity from this. I can just buy it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so, so for example, these ones, these units over here, um, they do a lot higher power, so limits that or um, is your you have high power systems in your in your operation or all of those two things. Um, so you can use one of these uh, backup systems here, which yeah. leads to a solar panel. The one that you can do. Um, it's not our one, but then it's also part of the product that we do. So we're just more selective with what we can, what we can say, what we can sell. Mm -hmm. um, but I think why we do this over say, something like a generator is, um, it's for a small business that's running a generator and has to burn gas as well. Mm -hmm. All of us out, they're not part of not going to do that. So with this, um, if you have, say, for example, um, a panel like this, up and take to your office and then you're done with that and then you're good to go and you can keep pretty much a, a whole business running um, off of systems like this so which is why we do this in systems as well and um, so we try to offer for much more uh, subscribe to that needs uh, release or sell. We sell them as well. Sir. So, awesome. so how much is that? So you're looking at for a small unit you're looking at about 5,000 and then for a big unit you're looking at about 8,000 it can go up to 12 depending on um, the capacity. Um, and all of these systems are capable of equipping these panels, um, so you're not only reliant on um, um, all the energy that you receive to actually charge these, but you can generate your own power, and that will also offset your own electricity bill as a small business. So like Brian said, you know, rather than using a, a generator where you have to put your diesel in, and maybe you don't know how long you're going to have load shedding, yeah. use a system where you can actually generate your own power sense and return it to you. Well, they yeah. 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 And they're really portable. So it's with eight thousand two. It's with eight thousand two. So we now have to make four different stands now. So the next step is to come in for a much larger um, uh, value to the production uh, plant. However, uh, that comes with challenge of access to market. But for a size of for a factory or something of that scale, we need access to market that are going to support. Um, that one is the operation of that and also the throughput of scale so that it makes sense to have a factory like that um, locally. So what we are doing in the industry is we want to be able to manufacture the batteries, we want to be able to manufacture the PCB board, we want to be able to process all of these uh, uh, raw materials into full-on solutions. However, we also need to have more of support from um, the support of development to develop this small business into being an industrial size business that can help solve the natural power crisis of the country, but not only the country, but also the whole continent as well. So how much are, are you looking at? So at the moment, what we're standing at, we start with a facility for battery packing. We're looking at about to take a lot of the for that. Um, and then going further, we actually take the raw material. There's a much larger packing that means that I need a bit more long to be long term scale out. Um, and that's pretty much what we're doing. We'll be standing for that. It's never been able to keep up with more uh, access to market. Like we really need the support to get into it um, and like actually find out what is the problem of the community and also um, the problem of the world looking for the best and what sort of advocacy we're looking for. That 
been speaking to how we can prepare ourselves for the actual production of human chain that's indicated as well, how we can assemble that production line as well and go into that. Because once we are able to know that we can be supported as a hard to go those spaces, but we'll never get that from government. We'll say we're going to buy from you. No, we're just going to get from you. We're just going to get from you. We're just going to get from you. Oh, that it is going to be used to happen. We have a great time. We're going to be a great set of women. We're going to be a great set of women. We're going to be a great set of women. Because right now, it's a great... But you know that you can get the plans online, right? They can see it. So to set up for now, we fight and we apply for it. Um, we will start process of applying for the as well. Okay. Okay. We keep us going so that we can also we are also submitted to sit Yes, yes, we are finished our YouTube for the next phase um we're making it proud in South Africa. I love it. Thank you. All right. Okay.